Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we're doing a modded series. If you want to check all the mods, check them in the description down below. Now, in the last episode, we built this nursery. Now, it's not complete. I did say I'll get this done before the next episode and it is all done in its all its glory. But we still have a few more things to do before this nursery is at full capacity or not capacity at full effectiveness should I say so what else do we need we need carousels we need carousels in here because that's going to help the growth rate of the children that we are going to be turning into adults so that we can get them to work now I did get a, a comment to say about putting houses for the children but that's pretty good that's a pretty good idea especially for role play sense because this could be like the adult apartment and they can have houses here for the children but I want to wait until the update comes out because if they're if the robots, if the robots can actually be self-maintained, then we might not have any adults here at all. You know, we might just have children and have the robots doing all the farming and all that stuff to sustain the children. So I'm going to wait on that one. I'm going to wait on that one. But what we got to do in this episode, like I said before, we've got to put some carousels and we've got to make some sunflowers. Now that should give us the whole, I believe it was 65% or 55% uh, growth rate of the children, which is going to be absolutely amazing. There's also this I want to do. So I actually put the dams here. So now the water gets to a higher level, which means this gets flooded. So we need to delete these Lidos and bring them up a bit so they match these ones. So let's, let's just get on with everything. So first of all, let's delete that. Let's delete this one. Then we're going to put platforms under there, like so. Yeah, that's good for me. And then we're going to stick the Lidos back, and that should help them. I hope it fits. Yeah, it should fit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And that should allow them to do some proper swimming, which also means we need to give them a way to access that. So we're going to put this like this and we're gonna put this right here now i kind of like the fact that we're leaving the stairs let's make this faster kind of fact that we're leaving the stairs is because like accessing the underground if they need to let's make sure that's in the right place that is and this one as well and that can go like so and look at that. I, I think that's going to be absolutely amazing. So now we've got to find a place to put carousels and we've got to get, we had to get power to it. So our power is actually going up in this spine here, but we could, I think I left a connection somewhere where we can bring it over. Yeah. So we can bring it over here if we need to. So we need to see if that is a thing we want to do. So I'm thinking of putting the carousels out here somewhere. Now we may need to make like a little balcony, which might actually be, be pretty cool. It might actually be pretty cool. So let's pause it. Let's see how big these carousels are. Um, where are they? I never remember where anything is. Okay, so they're, they're pretty damn big. <laughs> they are pretty big. But we can get quite a few along here, couldn't we? Hmm, that, that, that is a pretty cool idea. Let's fill this up with level two platforms. And if we have a carousel there, we'd still need to come out a bit more, but that's okay. That is okay. We can pull it. I think we could get a few down there. What's the power intake like? 400 horsepower, that's nothing really. That's not too bad. It's not too bad if I do say so myself. Right, let's see how this will look. Oh, look at that. And then if we put loads going across, how are we going to get power to it? What are we going to do for power? Now we can make the power come up here somewhere. But... Transferring it over might look a bit messy. 
So what would be the best way? Unless, because we're going to bring the power up here somewhere, right? We could actually bring it up here and bring it round here. But I think that will kind of look a bit messy as well. So maybe I bring it along here somewhere and we connect it in the middle. I know, I know I'm not explaining it, <laughs> I'm not explaining it properly. I've got a lot of ideas in my head. So let's get some platforms up here and let's see what we can do. Okay, so with the balcony made and four carousels put in there, it looks a bit, it looks a bit too uniform, you know? Like, it just looks too organized. It looks good, I like it. I like it because then I could put a fence around here. I could actually put a fence around the back as well which would be pretty cool. It means it can meet up kind of with that one. But is it is it too uniformed? And it fits perfectly as well. Let's just let's just appreciate that for a second. But if we delete that, we could make some sort of uh, different design. Um, maybe put one above, just to make sort of like a pyramid. So say if we did something like this, put that like that, that like that, and then get that there. Now we're going to make it a little bit more neater, a little bit more pleasing. It adds a sense of verticality, but is it just not that great? What about if we put a carousel in? Oh, it can't really go in the middle now, can it? Ah, oh, oh, come on. So I was thinking if we put it in the middle, then maybe we could make like some statues in next to it. If we, let's, let's delete all of this. Um, like that. And if we decide to just put, what, three of them? And put like that. That's a bit too close right there. So if we put it like that, and then we put one like, okay. <laughs> I feel like I missed the mark there. There we go. So that, puts three in sort of nicely shaped. Yeah, there's two spaces here. There's two spaces here. Yeah, that, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Then we can get, so fencing will be going out here. I wouldn't put fencing along here, to be honest with you, because I'm most, I'm going to have to connect to power here. So if we put, a power line like this so we definitely need to have power there let's get some platforms out here because we're going to put fencing behind it like so let's get that done and then last bit and I didn't do the corner of course I didn't do the corner so that's done. Then we can do something like that and make it go around there somehow, at some point. That kind of sort of marks off the edge of the nursery sort of thing, which I think is pretty cool. Now, we've got to get power over there. I could get power going along here into here but how we disguise it I kind of don't want it to be out in the open too much it can be some but not too much I 
we could actually do a balcony off a balcony. <laughs> so, so let me let let's just take a look at this. So, what we could do is we could make these back bits actually walkways, right? So we'd cover it like that and like that. Cover that all along there and like so. Or oh, we wouldn't use this, we would use arches actually. We would put an arch out like that. Now I don't think that can go over the fence. So let's let's try it. So what is it? We can do, we don't need to do five. Five is a bit long. We can do four. So it goes three spaces out. One, two, three up here. So if we do something like it's in the wrong place, that's fine. We'll just build another one here. We do something like this. And then we get, so that could go like that. We could do it there, to be honest with you. Because that wouldn't work like that. We'd have to take away the fence, I think. Let's see. We take away the fence. Does that work? That does work. But then they'll leave gaps here because we won't be able to delete that. Okay. Okay. So we can actually leave the fence there. It's all a work in progress. It's all a work in progress. Then we can put the, okay, I think my mouse, oh no, my mouse is back. I don't know what happened there. I think my ma mouse was running out of battery. Uh, so we could do something like this, right? All the way along to about here, I would say, and have a little, little balcony out there. That way we can make the piping come up here. We can make an access ramp here and we would kind of hide the power lines. And then we can figure out what we're going to do on the balcony. We can make a nice little section. So let me get that built up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is what we've got to play with. Now, I actually don't really need the fence underneath here. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too much. But it's hard to get an angle. Yeah, I don't need this fence. I'm most probably going to delete that. It's just a waste of metal. But now we have a little power shaft here. I haven't connected it under here. I haven't figured that bit out yet. But we've got power going all the way here and it will connect all the way across. And that allows us to uh, have power to all the carousels and it kind of hides the power line. Let's get some bushes in here. Yeah, I think they're going to find it difficult to build that, but they'll figure it out. They will figure it out. Now, what can we do up here? We can actually put um, some, either some observatories. That might be a good idea, even though we don't need the science, but, you know, it, it just looks good because it's kind of looking off to space. And it will help uh, the children learn about space and get smarter. Is that too many? And then we can build a sort of... Actually, let's delete that because we can build a little sort of park in here as well. So if we get some bushes going, some decorations, some benches. I wish you could uh, drag this along and build it. Something like that. Let's get... These bad boys. Oh, where did that go? Like that. Let's get some benches. How would we want to do this? Do something like that. We can actually put one of these bad boys here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It fits just perfectly. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. All right. So now 
that is complete. I, I would say that's pretty much complete. We can uh, tidy up this place, make it look a bit more prettier. Maybe put some pathways with roofs on top. But for now, that is looking good. So what we need now is sunflowers. <laughs> and we're most probably going to need a lot of them. We also have another problem. This doesn't actually reach all the way down here. So we're going to have to move the district. And I'm wondering where I should move it to. Because we don't use this bit as much. So we should move it more down here, right? So I'm thinking... This pathway is not doing anything. We could actually move it underneath this. So if we pull it here and connect it to the the pathway. Is there a pathway underneath? There's not. Mm. Can I get a pathway underneath? No, because there's power there. Okay, that's why I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm going to have to think about where I'm going to put this district center, but we're going to have to put it somewhere else. It could, it could just literally go here or something. But I want to put it in somewhere relatively nice. But for now, we're going to just leave it there. We've got all down here to make sunflowers. We just need to irrigate it. So first thing is first. Let's think of a way to irrigate this. Now, it is, it has got some water from up here, but when that dries out, we don't want all this place drying out. So let's think about where we're going to put the sunflowers. So they come under crops. Cool. So we need farms, we need irrigation. So let's get some farmhouses. It would be a good sort of entry into the, uh, to the district as well. Imagine coming to a town and the first thing you see is a field of sunflowers. How lovely does that look, right? So we can put it like that. We can put the entrance to the beaver uh, nursery like this. Because they're going to come along here. They're going to come along this little ravine, which we're going to make a bridge for, actually. I don't think actually water gets that high, but we're going to make a bridge for it anyway. They're going to come along here, and then they are going to come up here and see all of this. Now, I eventually, we'll want to move this. We also need to make storage, which we're going to put up here. There's a lot of things to do. <laughs> there is a lot. This district is getting bigger and bigger, but I'm loving it. I hope you're loving it, too. All right, so let's just sort of clear up this area, especially with the pathways. So we can delete that. We want to get, we're going to use our own sort of irrigation um, method, which is the water drop with some levees, like, so I put that in the wrong place. I want to pull it maybe like this. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then we can put the water drop, water dump, should I say, right there. We can put a stairway going up to it and get that going. And then we will have how I, I can't. Uh, I wish you could see the area. Now, let's get another farm. Kind of see. Okay, so it gets to around the edge of these. So we've got a lot of space to play with. So let's get sunflower seeds like this. Going down here. We don't want to pull it inside the water dump. But we can surround it. I don't mind that. We're also going to move this eventually because... It is not needed. Put that like that. It's pretty much get it everywhere. Like so. And we'll most probably make it a bit more if we need it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll go by eye. We'll play about with it a bit as it gets bigger and bigger. Okay, so that's that bit done. So that's quite a lot of work for them to do. 
There's a lot of uh, materials that they need. Oh, they need pine resin. Where can I get pine resin? You know what I could do? I could get some pines here. We can not make sure they don't cut it down. And we can get the resin off that. And that should be absolutely fine. Um, delete all of that. Let's just get rid of all of that. There used to be a bug where if you have too much of this, uh, the markings for the tree cutting, it used to lag out the game. But they said they fixed it, but still I do like to take away anything I'm not using just in case. All right. All right, that's all done. So we're going to get that. We're also going to need, if we want to collect some pine resin, we're also going to need a trapper shack which you can just bung there. I don't even know if I've got enough beavers. Six, okay, that's all right. And then let's get some storage up in here because now that it's becoming such a big district, we are definitely going to need some form of storage, right? And we don't need too much. I think this should be enough. Um, how would they get up there? What is the most optimal way to get up there? We delete that. We can actually make a little pathway up here. From here. I believe. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit out of shape, isn't it? Hmm. We could eventually get rid of this pathway, to be fair because we've got two pathways going up here. We don't actually need it. We can actually neaten this out and we're gonna move this. So that all might change. So for now, if that's the case, if that's gonna change, for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this bit here. Now make that go like that. And we're gonna neaten that up, but just not yet. And we're gonna do something like that. And we can just put that there so they have better pathing options. Okay, so I'll, I'll sort out the what I want in these after off screen or something. For now, they have a hell of a lot of work to do. So, you know what that means? I will see you in a few seconds once this is all done and we're going to talk about what we're going to do next. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, and there you have it. Our fully fledged nursery with the sunflowers. Now we're mostly going to need more because I believe I'm only hitting around, let's see. Yeah, my sunflowers are running out quite quickly. I think I hit around 100 I can maintain. So we're going to make more. Are you actually sleeping out here? Huh. Okay, you, you do you. I'm sure there's enough houses, but okay. So I was wondering, I was thinking, not wondering, but I was thinking, I'm actually going to power these. So I'm going to maybe put something here to power it, but we can figure that out on the next episode because unfortunately that is all I have time for today. And in the next episode, we are going to add power to this whole district because I've got to connect everything up. And we're finally, we're finally going to get onto this area where we're going to build towers of breeding pods. But I'm liking this nursery. I think it could do a bit more um aesthetics but for now i think it's not looking too bad if we go into this view we can get rid of all the notifications it doesn't look too bad and there's i like how there's just different levels to things it's looking pretty good so guys thank you so much for joining me on this episode i hope to see you on the next one peace